Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. It is December 20th. So we're all caught up on the videos now. It's going to be a busy day, y'all. I miss you, darlings. Um, today is our holiday social. So I'm just getting in. It's rainy outside. It's cold outdoors. <sighs> but I'm good. I have today to go and then we have a half day tomorrow and it's a little noisy right now because everybody is feeling the holiday cheer. <laughs> um, all right, y'all. So yeah, it's a lot. I hope to get in some good footage today <sighs> as much as possible. Um, again, today's going to be Is it going to be a lot of instruction? Yes, we'll do instruction for the top part of the day because our holiday social goes from 12.45 until 2 p.m. So that's basically from the time they come back from specials until it's time for dismissal. So we'll get in some um, instruction in the areas of soul, uh, science today and science, writing, and math. And I'm just trying to get this pony right. They'll be walking in in any minute now. Today they only have one lunch choice, so I'm not even gonna write that on the menu board. I'm just gonna tell them what that is. Um, I don't think they're too worried about it because they know they're getting all types of food today. Like they bought in everything, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get situated right now. Y'all, I love my little coat from Amazon. It's so comfy, it's so cozy. I think I'm giving, um, music teacher slash singer vibes today with my outfit of the day nice little cozy scarf to keep that neck warm and to cover that vocal box which is so important for teachers and singers i like i've got on my i love my husband shirt today honey this nice little pullover here whatever you want to call that pullover type this got on some black leggings black boots and we're ready to rock and roll all right i see my first student here so I'm gonna go ahead and get that door open for them. And they're peeking at me, talking about me, about me right now because they see the phone in my hand, so they know what's up. All right, I'll catch back up with y'all soon. Oh y'all, something that I didn't get a chance to share was now each day after school, I have the students stack their chairs. That way it's more simple to get underneath and sweep underneath these tables. Best, best idea ever. And then each morning they come in, they'll grab their chair from a stack and we keep it moving. Just wanted to share that quick little update before I get to into full swing with greeting my students. Okay, darlings. So right now I am currently working on some conference sheets to send home to my all-star parents today while the students work on making sure their interactive science interactive notebooks are together because I need to put those grades in the grade book today as well. I will show you. Well, I'm going to show y'all cover the name. So this is what the conference sheet looks like. Um, it includes their map testing scores as well as um, their student strengths. Um, what else? Learning behaviors other additional instructional resources and support that they could use, you know, to cater to their areas of improvement or areas that they need improvement with. So it also includes their grades. So it's a pretty in-depth document. And I'm just trying to make sure that we have all the correct data points on that while they finish their student notebooks. So I just wanted to let you know what I was working on and I will be sure to check back in with you soon. All right, so it has been a moment since I checked in, but it is literally 10.55 a.m. And I think the last time I checked in was around 7-ish or 8-ish. Um, but right now we are, well, we have just come back from our restroom break. And now the students are actually waiting for their backpacks to be disseminated. And after that, we're going to line up in line order, get ready for lunch. They'll be eating the lunch, their lunches in the classroom today. But um, we have to obviously go through the cafeteria and grab their food and come back in. And then we're getting closer to our holiday social and they are ready for that. So if you are ready, say woo, 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 woo. And we're 
we're bringing all the vibes today, okay? By the way, darlings, I forgot to tell you that I'm actually still doing these conference sheets. Hmm. Life of a teacher. All right, Cam. Cam, Cam, fam. <laughs> No. Um, anyways, darlings, right now I'm being quiet because my class, they are playing this old school game called Heads Up 7 Up. Does anyone remember that? That's what they're doing. So they're like having a good time playing that while we wait on um, some things to process or what have you. But it's been a fun day. I would say a rather fun and relaxed day in the All-Star Mansion. We've been getting some instruction done, getting some assignments in. I've been putting grades in. I'm almost done with that. And so again, as we wait for things to process, um, they're playing heads up seven up. So I chose my top seven listeners um, of the class, students who listen with attention. I chose them to start the game off and I'm pretty good. I wish I could show y'all, but <clears throat> okay, y'all. So lunch is over. Our little processing period is over. And now my students are over here looking at me awkwardly a little bit. I've got some dancing in the background because we're ready for the music to come on. But I just wanted to show y'all what all they brought in. Listen, I did not bring in a thing. Well, I did bring in a fruit tray. But everything else, they sponsored their party completely, which tells me they wanted to make sure that they had an awesome holiday celebration. So I'm just going to show you a few of the things that they brought in. Here we go. So the first table that we have here is literally what I'm calling the juice bar. They brought in Capri Suns, some Kool-Aid here, a little Kool-Aid jammer sprinkled in. And then, y'all, juice for days. And honestly, we I think we have some extras. I don't know. But it's a lot. It's plenty because there are only 25 students present. And then here's the fruit tray that I bought in because we got to have we've got to have that nature in our bodies. Boom, boom, boom. And then I had a student to bring in a couple of subs for the people that didn't want pizza or wings. I thought that was very generous. And of course, this is one of their favorite tables because because it has those little nasty talkies. And then, <laughs> you got all the talkies. You got the Lay's barbecue. We've got some popcorn, the white cheddar. That's the bomb.com. They've got the cool ranch. They've got the ruffle sour cream and onion, one of my favorites. They've got the classic Lay's chili cheese Fritos. Um, they've got cheddar and sour cream, Cheetos. Y'all, we could literally open up a school store right here in this classroom. Um, so all the things, Cheeto puffs, classic Doritos. They've got the whole shebang. All right, and at this table, we have the hot, The well, it's not hot yet, but it's cocoa. Um, we're gonna play a holiday movie and drink hot cocoa with that. So we've got the cups lined up. Y'all, by the way, I did not have to design these tables. My all-star students, they did this. This is why I love fifth graders because they know how to be responsible and can do the job, okay? Hire them for your next designing table events. Um, over here, we have the sweet table. And we have lollipops there. We've got some, what are these? I guess they're called six lits. We've got, I'll go around the corner some airheads, all the different flavors. My favorite day, bakery cookies. They're so yummy. We've got some soft batch um, sugar cookies, miniature size, regular size. We've got miniature cupcakes. Oh, and then I haven't seen these in a while, but we have some Krabby Patties, little SpongeBob candies. And then y'all, this is that good, good. Mm -mm that Lindor chocolate baby okay um so my favorite is dark chocolate though I only eat dark chocolate and then we have all of the holiday plates here along with the napkins and they're being real silly right now y'all and we have some goodie bags the pizza and the wings are here but I'm not gonna get that in the camera because it's not set up yet but you get the picture all right and then I had to show y'all this my student brought in this beauty of a cookie cake it says merry christmas from the snows it's snow adorable i think there's like the dad snowman the mom the child and the little doggy over there isn't it cute and then one of my students brought in this miniature little christmas tree it's so cutable i love it it's the best y'all all right, I forgot to show y'all this. My student, her family literally owns a bakery shop here in our um, 
Schools County and it's called Williams Donut. Shout out to them. If you're ever in the Georgia area, go and support them. Um, the motto says, you deserve a donut. Let's see what's inside. Da, 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 da. Ooh. 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 You better go to Williams Donut. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Go get your donut because you deserve it. <laughs> okay it's the end of the day the students are gone yeah oh it was a great day but um energy was high okay <laughs> energy is high and so now i'm ready for it to come all the way back down let me show you what it's looking like the aftermath okay so we've got the um chairs stacked went ahead and pushed the table together so tomorrow when they come in we won't have, you know, everything will kind of be in one place, in one space. They have early release tomorrow, so they'll be here for half a day and for half of an instructional day. And so I told them, hey, if you're coming in tomorrow, you're just going to be cleaning. And if you come and clean, you will receive some treats, some snacks, because we have plenty of food left over. We still have cookies left over, cupcakes left over, chocolate chip muffins left over, some juices are left over donuts are left over like i just no one even ate out of these i just opened them up we didn't it was so much food we didn't get to everything so i want to have all that left for them to come back and get um so have some cups left over for the hot chocolate um so they're gonna come in tomorrow they're gonna do some organizing for me i pushed the tables together that way we could get under these tables and really sweep and mop um i won't mop until after they leave obviously so I'm probably going to put some bleach down, some pine saw. I have some gifts and goodies that I need to get home. So I try to stack everything together. Plenty of chocolates. They know I love dark chocolates. I got some mugs in there. We've got some gift cards to my favorite places. This beautiful Forever Rocher. Like, yes, honey. So I'm about to grab my water and get up out of here because it's time to go. Well, I have two students um, who just, they're busy helping people, you know, get their rooms together and they wanted some hot chocolate. So I'm going to make them some really quickly before I jet out for the day. All right, I'll catch back up with you soon. All right, y'all, I am out. It is a wrap. Oh, in the car, the traffic is slightly thick today. So we're going to push through this traffic. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty good. And yes, I still have my mask on. <laughs> um, listen, I'm going to catch back up with y'all. I feel calm now. Like, if things are on the hush-hush, this is good. It's rainy out, so this is therapeutic. I'll catch up with you later. For all of my fellow teachers, all my fellow educators, I just want to know, how were your holiday parties like? Did they turn out as you imagined? Were they better? Were they worse? Like, how were how were your Christmas parties? Did your school even do a party? Like, were y'all allowed to do parties? Like, I'm just curious to know. Um, ours turned out really well. Like I said, ours ran from 12.45 to 2. That was like the school-wide time that we had to do. And so we just opened ours with some some food. Like, the, I let the students create the tables, their own tables. And then um, they created their own tables. We ate, we danced, we were merry. Um, listened to some good Christmas music. It turned out Chris Brown, Chris Brown's Christmas song. Now I can't even think of the song, but it's not his song, but his rendition of the song. I forgot the name of the song, y'all. Oh my goodness. But they loved that one and they loved the Mariah Carey. Um, All I Want for Christmas is You. And then we settled down after they got all the sugar in them. We settled down. We watched a movie or a portion of a movie and drank hot chocolate in the process. So um, hot, the hot cocoa station was a big hit. Like they really loved that. So I think that may be actually something that we do on the regular. Like I'll start like a little tea club or a little hot cocoa club. I think that'll be a great incentive for my students to, you know, really do their thing in the classroom academically and behaviorally. 
Um, so I do want to know how did your holiday parties or socials turn out? And if you're not an educator, but you're a parent of a child that had a holiday social, tell me what was that like? Like preparing for that if you had a, a part to um, take on with that. Okay, so I have made it home. Um, I wanted to make sure I came back on to close out this video. Um, you can probably hear my little one in the background. I'm going to go ahead and get my workout in and get my evening routine started. I will see you guys next time.